Welcome. What I want to do is kind of go back through and show you if I'm given the sine of 30 degrees equals one half. Um, how am I going to determine what the cosecant of 30 degrees is? So there's a couple things we need to remember about this. First of all, we need to understand and remember how cosecant and sec I'm sorry, sine and cosecant are related. So the couple things we write is you know sine of any angle theta is equal to one over cosecant of theta. And the same way it can be written as cosecant of theta equals 1 over sine of theta. So what does that mean? What that means is these are what we call reciprocals of each other. Therefore, if sine of theta we represent, remember, as opposite over hypotenuse, right? So if sine of theta is opposite over hypotenuse, then the cosecant of theta is going to be hypotenuse over opposite, right? So right now, you can see that these are reciprocals of each other um, as represented um, in this form. So therefore, if sine of 30 is 1 half, cosecant of 30 is going to be 2 over 1, which is just simply equal to 2. So there you go. That's how you evaluate by using the reciprocal identities. Thanks.